The used car company with the eye-catching ads featuring a vending machine filled with cars. You've probably seen the commercials promising to drive you happy. But as Les Trump reports, not all of their customers are happy. Carvana will drive you happy. It's the company that specializes in selling used cars online. Did I tell you I bought our car from Carvana? Yeah, ma. It was so easy. But today, some customers say their car buying process was anything but easy. Carvana makes it look so easy, but really it just became this insane, extremely awful nightmare. During the pandemic, Alicia Evans flew all the way from Sioux Falls, South Dakota to Phoenix, Arizona to buy this Mazda sedan from one of Carvana's futuristic vending machines. Oh my God, it was like the most exciting thing to happen to me. But she says all that excitement quickly wore off. They made it so fun, but then all of a sudden, a month after, it was like a nightmare. First, she says there were mechanical problems. The shocks were bad, and then the tires had to be replaced after a month. Then the temporary tags Carvana provided expired, and she says she was unable to register her car. A big problem since she worked as an Uber driver. And they just told me that they were not responsible. She says she was unable to drive for Uber and lost her job. She's now homeless and living out of this old beat up RV. It's completely insane that Carvana is taking the lengths of time they are to process titles and registrations. Attorney Robert P. Coco is suing Carvana, alleging Carvana has failed to properly transfer ownership of hundreds of vehicles nationwide. We've been contacted by over 700 people with some variation of this experience. So what's going on here? Multiple lawsuits claim that Carvana takes way too long to transfer a car's registration that proves ownership. And that leaves some drivers vulnerable to being pulled over by police for driving with an expired plate. Some say they've even been falsely arrested for driving a stolen car. Matanya and Nicholas Woods say that's exactly what happened to them after they paid $26,000 for this four-door Kia Sorento from a Carvana vending machine in Philadelphia. They say the temporary tags kept expiring and they were unable to register their car. Matanya says her husband was pulled over, arrested, and their car was impounded by the police. For $26,000, I got three temporary license plates. My husband went to jail. We both lost our job. My credit was ruined, and I still don't even have a car. Today, Nicholas still faces multiple traffic violations, which he says he plans to fight. Carvana denies any wrongdoing. They declined to do an interview, but in a statement, they say they bought and sold over a million cars and have a 4.7 out of five star rating on their website. They also say they're committed to improving their customer's experience.